Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are uh, continuing our recap of our 500th episode uh, Extra Life live stream. Uh, this is uh, basically continuous, but this episode we'll be uh, checking in on our Venus orbital station, which is uh, about to make a transfer into Venus SOI. So uh, I will turn you over to uh, old me live during the broadcast. Oh, thank God. It's here and everything is A-OK. -okay. And I should not have switched to this vessel because now we're going to get boil off. All the boil off. At least we can move it in this lower tank where we should see less boil off. Probably. Fair enough. All right. Well, well, we've only got like ten days to kill, right? Uh, all right. Well, what I I'm curious as to how much boil off we're gonna see. So there's our liquid hydrogen dot seven two currently and accelerating quite rapidly. Yeah, that's not fun. And there's our SOI change. Ah, oh, come on, Kerbal Alarm Clock. Venus is like Australia of the solar system. It's hot, human. Everything tries to kill you in the opposite of normal orientation. It spins backward. Yeah, the hydrogen. I feel like I kind of owe the boil off, though. <laughs> How does it dare refocus on Venus during the time warp? I feel like uh, I am owed the boil off because it does not boil off when it's not active vessel. And it's kind of cheaty because we are going really close in on the uh, solar system. So I feel like the boil off should have been a thing the whole time. Venus one love. Dump equivalent out locks. Yes, that is the plan. I would just like to get it, uh, like, now I can empty this whole tank without uh, any fear of throwing off the mixture. Did I pass it up? Liquid oxygen. Uh, 24223, 24223, dump. And so much DV by having XX oxygen heavy that it is so we're gonna we're gonna take care of that probably gonna have to dump more I mean obviously we're gonna have to dump more I just getting the mixture right is gonna suck set the dump speed to be slow in the SM settings tab oh really settings Low rate, 1,000 units a second, so let's set that to 100. Save, so that should be extra slow for what we have to dump. And let's continue our boiling off of things. All right, one day, nine hours. We're going to have to set up our decouple. So we've got 680 meters per second, and we need 1,970 to capture. That's that and that, so we'll try to set up all of that in sequence when we're a few hours away, I suppose. These have fuel in them, we'll have to transfer that around. And we'll just wait until we're a couple of hours out. Oh man, and the rest of the boiling off is a thing. We might be completely out of liquid oxygen or liquid hydrogen by the time we get there. Nearly swallowed an ice cube. What are you doing to your face today, Palsy? Like, seriously. You and getting things in your mouth today unintentionally has been a little excessive. There she is.
All right, we are four hours out. So really the whole saving of this whole ignition was just a dumb because we're not even going to get 100 meters per second out of this eventually. Uh, let's get ourselves angled in. Is our node even correct? Yeah, and it's way outside the atmosphere. One million and some coin. <laughs> this is not your anus joke. <laughs> uh, please show the calendar. Uh, what do you mean by the calendar? Kerbal alarm clock? Or the the day, month, year? It is uh, 1988. Day 275. Whatever that means. Yeah, let's say when we dump all the all the liquid oxygen that we don't need. We might gain some of it back, but I'm a little worried as to what that means. Because, oh, I need to be able to calculate our runtime so that I know when to do separation. Or really, I just need to program in separation, and then I'll do the rest. I'll lead with runtime. All right, so there's that. We're just going to try to separate. Come, get out of the way. All right, so signal delay, four hours, 19, Mike. So we'll just go 30 seconds before. Activate engine, decouple. Activate, activate, activate. Activate. Did I get all four? Please, please tell me that I got all four. We'll go ahead and open this tank up. So yeah, everything is in this tank. Uh, so now we're just going to time warp in and see how much liquid oxygen we have left. What? Why? Are we coming out of time warp? Oh, because I forgot to hit enter on the signal delay. Uh-huh. Well, that made that real easy. I forgot to hit enter on the signal delay. Good job. Well, at least now this has 500 some odd meters per second. All right, where's radial in? Where is Venus? Son of a... <laughs> That's why you shouldn't space flight when you've been drinking. Yeah, I broke it. I broke it. So we're just going to slam it into the surface. Take a quick save to make sure things don't go all discombobulatory. I think, honestly, with 500 meters per second, we can just deorbit the whole thing. We don't have to worry about it. I see a fairing base face. Smile. Yee. Much better. And we can still quick jump back to this. That's awesome. And with uh, all five of our engines active. God, all that effort spent trying to keep that stage attached. And what stupidity befalls us. <laughs> yeah, there's no point in getting that dumb thing into orbit. I mean, the, the B upper stage. <laughs> it's laughing at you. I bet it is. There's no point in keeping the B upper stage in orbit. It's just more junk I'll have to delete later.
DWR is dot four. How do we only have 700 meters per second? Oh, well, that's a problem. We should have had about a thousand or two. Um, what? Oh, we're in time warp. <laughs> This doesn't bode well. Oh, good. Seeking and deleting junk. Things SimG made causes a lot of... A little bit of orbital junk you have to clean up. Okay, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, had I planned on them decoupling, Wookie, I totally wouldn't have fuel management episode. That's every episode. Obviously. Alright, so we're about a kilometer per second or so short. What to do? What to do? Well, we're going to get radial in uh, as much as we can and try to maximize our overth effect. Shit. Oh, that was... Yeah, see? I should have just waited until... I should have just let the boil-off thing be a cheat. Where are you going, homie? Who the hell told you to correct that way? <laughs> Alright, we don't have much choice here. I'm going to have to light the engines and push us in real close. I don't think we're going to be able to make up for a kilometer per second, though. We can certainly try. Not realistic fuel management at all, where every part can magically pump fuel. Well, you know, it's a game. <laughs> if it's going to let me do it, then I am certainly going to try. I should have just kept the B upper stage real close by and, like, nudged it. Oh, well, that's fun. <sighs> Y'all missed an engine! <laughs> Thanks, Lipo. I appreciate that. <laughs> Good thing we figured this out now. It, it, instead of later than now, the Haro guys could add some specialized ports that add mass to dump fuel. Now, really, you could just open the valves and let it leak out through the engine nozzles, right? Is my signal delay still active? No. Okay, good. Six minutes. Uh, nodes in 24. So I guess we'll just use some thrusters until such time that we could... Uh... I don't think it works like this. <laughs> Probably not. At least uh, it's not a super emergency. We can still correct for a lot of it before... It's a huge problem. All right, come on now, come on. Just do what Jackson did. Certain orbit on the first Venus encounter, but we were able to adjust heliocentric orbit to get a second flyby. Yeah, I'll say, are we gravity assisting in or away? Let's kill this node. Say so we're gravity assisting out. We'd have to come around to the other side of Venus if we wanted to lower our orbit. Which, unfortunately, I don't think we can adjust to uh, make that a thing currently. 
But uh, maybe we will get a second flyby in a couple of years. Although this does go uh, painting a terrible landscape for things in the future. That's a very good point, Lipo. You know what happens when you open valves? Dump hypercolics through the nozzle, especially with fuel and oxidizer. Uh, I mean, it's it's called an engine light, and yes. I mean, I didn't, but now I do. I understand the logic. So I guess if you wanted to vent things, especially hypergolics, you'd want to do them one at a time, spaced out by a good long ways. We don't have so many years he has kiddo growing up. You'll have more problems soon. <laughs> Fair. Hmm. This is really, really inefficient. I mean, not that, not that the AJ-10-118K is the most efficient engine, but it is more efficient than these thrusters. But I feel like maybe the distance makes up for it. I mean, no, not really, because if we were using the engines, we'd get both benefit and not just one. I guess I'd rather get one benefit than zero, something like that. Uh, of all the things to screw up today, at least the crew made it home safe. And maybe we just destruct this into the atmosphere and start from scratch? Recon cameras look like guided missile containers. <laughs> Rocket pods. And the casing may have been borrowed from an AH-6. But that's classified. Alright. Good engine light. And not very well balanced, that's why I had some life support in things and other life support in other things was for balancing purposes. Dang it. Space just above. Collect recon. Uh, collect radio. Why isn't this action grouped? Collect soil moisture. Probably already got photographs. Probably already got those too. We're going to get done what we can. Quick activate the robotics. It will help. You know what? You're probably right. I was thinking we'd just spin the core around its axis and that things would be okay, but uh, no, we've just crackened it. <laughs> oh, wobble station. Why do you wobble so? <laughs> Important thing is you have cargo crates. They will fix this somehow. I don't know if they can fix this. I don't know if we can salvage this. Because uh, I don't think we can get into an orbit. We can't really even light the engines to break into an orbit. And while it may have been an ambitious project, I think we might have to start from scratch. Which really... I didn't know do the Harlem Shake is included in Infernal Robotic. It's a special setting. Uh, I don't know if we can salvage this one. I really just don't think we can salvage this mission. And especially after the rapid disassembly of uh, the initial one, and then me never really revisiting the project again. I am uh, very leery, leery of this mission's ability to pull absolutely anything off. Which 
does make me very, very, very sad. Well, we're going to try to light the engines, but uh, I had some life support in some of in one side of this for ballast. But the fuel pumps topped off the whole thing on the launch pad. And uh, then I dumped everything to try to save Delta V. Well, you could have a crew ready. That would fix it. How would having a crew fix it? They'd be not in orbit either. Let's try somewhere else, like Titan. It's nice this time of year. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of year. We're going to see what we can't accomplish. But uh, I think maybe some mild orbital uh, decomposition is what's needed here. And to make sure that we can get that result, <laughs> Titan Octocopter. <laughs> maybe dump the excess uh, nitrogen tetroxide? Hmm. I mean, it can't hurt at this point. Let's uh, top off this low tank and see what we've got left. Yeah, oh, yeah, not not nearly enough. That and bring up my two reserve tanks just so we can get good idea of uh, even balance. It's still not going to be all of it. Out. out. Old radial in, please. Can Perseus crew save it? Uh, I don't know how a Perseus crew would be able to save it. I mean, realistically, if we could get it in orbit, maybe. But I don't think we're even going to hit orbit. The Wednesday. Hey, Crash. Well, thank you so much, and uh, thanks for coming out. Greatly appreciated. Are there any mods for live in-game center of mass? I don't know. And this is a really nice spin that I don't know how we picked up, but we're going to use it. <laughs> it's Wednesday, my dudes. Well, that was an interesting camera change. Very interesting indeed. So, were you feeding from this tank, I assume? Come on now. Nope. All those tanks are locked. Well, we'll just uh, let it spin itself up. After all, Perseus could dock at the station in a heliocentric orbit. KER. I don't have uh, Kerbal Engineer installed, however. Perseus could dock with the station in a heliocentric orbit. Hmm. I really just don't know if that much is worth it. Because uh, even a fully outfitted Perseus can only care about carry about a year of life support. It's really not designed for long-term deep space. It's designed for point-to-point. -point. Uh, take your crew to someplace else where there are supplies. <laughs> Refuel. And then uh, park for a while and head back. Alright, flight computer, you can go away for a little bit. Uh, 
transmit 50 science, not bad. That will certainly help with our things. So if we're going to waste this mission, we're going to get some science out of it. Oh, it didn't say science added. Really? Is this what we're doing today? Going to give me my eight science? Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, 50 science for a signal intelligence scan of Venus. Nothing there, guys. We knew that. Okay. 60 science for the moisture scan. Well, at least we got something out of this. Wow. Telling flight computer to hold radial has resulted in this. Although, I really should not be surprised by that, I suppose. Yeah, that was a... <laughs> I thought better of that, didn't I, Wookie? NSA doesn't believe you and request man's mission for more funding. They might get it. Oh. Oh, come on, really? There we go. I really don't know if it's worth saving. Nitrogen tetroxide. It's in our primary tank, which uh, has 912 in it. Yep. Dump. The gimbals. Oh no, the gimbals are not working. Because I right clicked them. Uh, six minutes. Six more minutes. Why is Toggle SAS off on this? Great. <laughs> good times, good times. Now oh, there's your problem. <laughs> yeah, he sure did right-click activate absolutely everything. Turn SAS back on. I guess we're going to wait six more minutes. Uh, we're only a minute from periapsis. Oh, boy. All right, so I'm just going to sit here and bounce on keys for another 20 seconds while we give it everything that we have. Now that we have gimbal... 302 meters per second, less than a quarter of what we came in with, and uh, not nearly low enough. Come on, come on. Stay on target. Too much focus. There's SAS is armed. Hold to retrograde, please. Please. Hey, look, I don't care if you want to do the spin dance. That's fine. Just hold it. We can retrograde. <laughs> 500 episode still didn't learn his lesson. He will never learn his episode. Learn his lesson. <laughs> Crashy McCrash face. <laughs> Alex, how's it going? Uh, what year am I in? RP1? Uh, that. Oh man. 1957? I have not touched on that in quite a while, so uh, I, I'm not 100 sure. It spins, so the huge antenna can do better scanning. Uh, and with that grandiose bit of failure, we will uh, abandon the prospective Venus station to uh, orbit the sun forever. 
uh, aimlessly and uncrewed. Uh, I, this project, or this station, I should say, is being abandoned, although we will not give up on our dreams of putting a crew around Venus uh, just yet. Uh, maybe with a not-so-ridiculous design and uh, abandoning the spinny bits at the center will uh, yield more positive results, but uh, we'll just chalk this one up to a lesson well learned. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it, and I will see all of you in the next one. So, until then, see you later.